A very good morning to you. It's good to see you right here on uh, the show, uh, right here on Your World. My name is Winnie Lubembe, and today we are talking fintech, okay? And simply defined, fintech is the application of technology and innovation to solve the needs of consumers and firms in the financial space. Thinking of, you know, credit cards, online banking, among so many others. And according to Harvard Business Review, African countries such as Nigeria and Kenya have emerged as fintech hotbeds and are using inexpensive accessible tech to mobilize consumers in ways never seen before. So today on the show, like he said, I said we delve deeper into fintech world to understand Honeycoin's innovative approach to financial inclusion and social commerce. And to help us with that conversation, we have the CEO and founder and that is david nando good to have you this morning how are you doing i am doing good on yeah. this very early morning glad I mean, to be here very honored to be here so thank yeah. you for having me do you have like this early morning but you know we had stories about ceos waking up at 3 a.m <laughs> 4 a.m yeah so usually sleep at like 3 4 try to wake up yeah. at 9 10 so i actually i'm uh, I'm, I'm more of a night person than a morning oh, okay, person night yeah owl. but I'm, I'm glad I to be that. here and I'm, I'm, I'm a bit energetic yeah, yeah. okay <laughs> thank you thank you so much for making time for us and before we delve deeper into fintech just very quickly on your side i mean bottom part of your screen you can see a qr code and what we need you to do is just scan it using your device it will take you to a google document and we'll ask you very simple few questions and this is as far as our products are concerned either news and our shows as well so we need to hear your feedback in terms of what you need to see improved what you like best and like we always say in as much as this is our product it's also your product so let us know what are some of the things uh, that um, you see and you like about our shows and our news products as well and we'll be sampling your feedback uh, but for now let's talk fintech <laughs> <laughs> like he said um, let's do it. and can we just talk about like basic understanding yeah um, I know we've had the definition but just to make it very simple, simple yeah. for my grandma who's yes. a very ardent <laughs> viewer of this show yes can can really understand understanding um fintech and What's then fintech? We'll, yes then yeah we'll so, deep so fintech handcuff. you know yeah. is basically the short form of financial technology okay. and that's just to mean that you know we've come from cash heavy economies mm -hmm. and africa is still a very much cash-based economy yeah and over the over time we've tried to embed technology into how money changes hands mm -hmm. and so what that is is basically building you know financial infrastructure financial technology okay. to power this money movement it could be around lending mm -hmm. it could be around payments yeah. it could even be around uh, you know credit assessment so mm -hmm. more data yeah. and so basically fintech mm -hmm. is just that application of how we make mm -hmm. payment and you know cross-border cross payment as well as local payment solutions, mm -hmm. innovative and yeah. digital, yeah. you know, through the and use of financial And a bit easier. Um, and a bit easier as yeah, well. As and, well, you know, yeah. over time, even mm -hmm. cheaper mm -hmm. because it's cumbersome if I wanted to move 100 million from Kenya to Tanzania. Yeah. But I can do it with my bank mm -hmm. in a couple of minutes. That's true. Yeah, so that's it's, true. it's one of yeah. those kind of ways that you decrease costs just through the innovation. Mm -hmm. And so that's, you know, at the core of FinTech, it's basically how can we improve the lives of billions mm -hmm. you know at scale yeah. but do it in a way that i don't have to be with you in order mm. to help you do yeah. what you want to do with your money absolutely yeah. and we all have those uh mobile banking apps and yeah. money lending apps yeah. and all those things no, for sure. uh, right mm -hmm. in, in in our phones yeah <sighs> and hopefully honeycoin as well on yours yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well okay yeah. but let's just get to understand mm -hmm. um more about honeycoin yeah. because again like i said most of us would have all those apps in our phones it's true um so the biggest question will be so honeycoin yeah right mm -hmm. who is honeycoin what exactly what do it, you do yeah. and how different is honeycoin mm -hmm. and especially in the kenyan market where there is an influx yeah uh you know of fintech companies yeah. if i can say that mm -hmm. yeah yeah, so that's a really good question. Mm -hmm. I think for me, um, anytime I think about Honeycoin, yeah. the best way to describe us is our goal is to become a financial super app 
for consumers. Okay. All right. The long way of saying that is we are basically a financial services aggregator. Mm -hmm. What that means is we try to bring a host of all the services a, a user like you okay. would need mm -hmm. into one single application. Okay. So for example, if you wanted cross-border payments, mm -hmm. you know, we have a partnership with MoneyGram where we allow you to actually receive money from over 180 countries. Okay. So if you're sitting here, mm -hmm. you can receive payments. So we've sold remittances. Mm -hmm. Or let's say you wanted to you know, purchase airtime, yeah. pay for your bills. Mm -hmm. We actually have made integrations mm -hmm. and allow, we are one of uh, the resellers for like airtime, like Safaricom, Airtel, uh, we're also resellers for tokens, so you can actually purchase, you know, KPLC tokens on our mm. application as well. Okay. Or let's assume you wanted insurance, you know, that's one of the things that, mm -hmm. um, uh, sorry, excuse me, we're rolling out soon. If yeah. you wanted investments, you know, we have a partnership with a licensed investment broker in uh, uh, the country mm -hmm. to allow you to buy and invest in stocks mm -hmm. and ETFs directly on the platform. If you wanted to give, um, let's say an individual, send a gift card to someone. For example, you wanted to go shop at Carrefour. Mm -hmm. We've actually made it simple. So you don't have to go to a physical store to buy yeah. a gift card and give it to them. You can do it on our app. Yeah. And this is all to mean that, like our goal is why have five apps to do what mm. you need to do if you can have one. If you can just have yeah. one. And I mean, so yeah. we are now thinking how we can connect all of the things that consumers on a lifestyle level, yeah. businesses on a payments level need into a single application. Yeah. That's in the form of a consumer app, which yeah. you can download on Play Store and App Store. Yeah. And for businesses, we have like a web platform that mm -hmm. they can log into, mm -hmm. they can see all of their financial accounts, mm -hmm. they can move, mo uh, move money between them, mm -hmm. they can manage payroll and treasury. Yeah. And so that all is sort of like leading to that goal of where we see Africa right now mm -hmm. as very fragmented. Yes. The goal is, mm -hmm all these countries in Africa, very nuanced, very different. Mm -hmm. How can we connect them all? Yeah. But it starts by how we can connect you to the yeah, services true. that you use I mean, locally. Yeah, no, absolutely. And it makes total sense. And I like that yeah. because we all want convenience now. It's true. Right? Yeah, <laughs> that's the goal. <laughs> right? Yeah. So if we can have all those things happening in one app, yeah. then, right, why mm -hmm. not? Yeah, exactly. Makes, makes everything easier and, and seamless. Very true. Uh, and I'm just curious in terms of can you automate? Mm -hmm. Right? Like, yeah. for example, my bills. Can I, on your app, just, this is just top of my head. Mind, yeah. Yes. Can, can I automate mm -hmm. such that I don't have to oh, go to my bank and then, I mean, move, to, to, mm -hmm. to the app, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then move this hapa and then pay Sujit Nani and then yeah. pay this other person so that everything is just seamless. May I just have seat? You know, and you know <laughs> what you're buying. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, so one of the things yeah. that we've done is actually on the host of services and we call these services on the application. Yeah. If I knew that I'm paying for my bills at this particular date yeah. and you've already pre-funded your account, it's a mm -hmm. single tap to approve the payment. Ah, okay. And then also, mm -hmm. if you had, let's say, you have your M-Pesa, mm -hmm. um, you know, mobile money account, mm -hmm. and then let's say your primary bank is ABSA. Yeah. We exist in tandem with these. Yeah. So we're not trying to be a replacement wallet, mm -hmm. but more of what we're trying to be is actually that you can actually link those accounts. Mm -hmm. So I can see what's my balance on M-Pesa, what's yeah. my balance on equity, what's my yeah. balance on um, ABSA as well. Mm -hmm. And so it's almost as if now that I have a full overview of my net worth, of my current standing as an yeah. individual, yeah. I can manage my finances. Mm -hmm. We use machine learning and AI to actually give you recommendations based mm -hmm. on your spending. Mm -hmm. So for example, we can tell you, you know, you've been going to Java a bit too much this month, mm -hmm. or we can tell you that, you know, your top expense is you sending money back to your mom. Mm. So, you know, should, can we help you automate this as well, make yeah. it a recurring expense mm -hmm. and those kind of things. So it's very much, mm -hmm. not just that you can keep, um, you know, bring all of these different financial services into mm -hmm. one platform, yeah. but also that within those financial services, mm -hmm. you can actually link the existing accounts mm -hmm. that you have as all well. Right. Mm -hmm. One of the things that a lot of people would be concerned about is their security and yes. safety. Yeah, mm -hmm. PESA, you know? <laughs> it's true. It's <laughs> is true. everything safe? So, so, so that is uh, one of the questions that a lot of people would have, yeah. security, mm -hmm. uh, and how does this then set you apart yeah, from, from other the existing? Yes. So, yes. So because, you know, we deal with payments, because we deal with money, mm -hmm. we've undergone, you know, significant amount of scrutiny not only with our banking partners, but even with global payment partners, mm -hmm. and even with uh, you know, global tech standards. Uh -huh. So for example, to accept payments, we are PCI DSS compliant. Mm -hmm. That's just a long way of saying mm -hmm. to tell consumers that, hey, 
based on what card networks require you mm -hmm. to hold, store, and charge these uh, cards or hold yeah. this information, mm -hmm. we've sort of like undergone the necessary you know, compliance constraints mm -hmm. in order to be able to do that. Okay. And um, as a platform, your money is not actually sitting with us mm -hmm. in all of the countries that we're in. Yeah. So I mentioned 100 countries, but yeah. we're in six primary African countries. Right. Of those countries, we hold and store funds with mm -hmm. uh, custodian bank partners. Mm -hmm. So for example, in Kenya, we work very closely with Equity Bank mm -hmm. and their payment service arm to be able to hold you know, money with them so that when you're depositing funds in, it's going into a custodial account that is also insured. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we know. So you basically know that. Hey, if I'm storing one shilling with Honeycoin, mm -hmm. there's one shilling, one in, a, shilling. in a physical bank account yeah. that is also secured. Okay. And then even on a global level, we've gone through um, audits as well. So mm -hmm. security audits that make sure that, you know, we would give an external firm mm -hmm. access to our infrastructure and then tell them, you know, mm -hmm. you know, give us an audit, give us a report, mm -hmm. so that we can also show consumers, mm -hmm. hey, you know, yeah. we're good. Your money is safe as well. And okay. we strive to do this because we understand just how important it is mm -hmm. for you to know that my money is safe because it's my yes. money yeah. yeah i mean listen <laughs> we work so hard yes exactly <laughs> yeah. no you so don't, the you don't you can uh, just make sure that it's, it's true it's, yeah. it's safe mm -hmm. okay i hear you yeah. um so you started in 2020 yeah so we okay. launched in 2020 mm -hmm. yeah. and um you know, my background primarily is also has been in fintech. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been a soft, I've been coding since I was about nine, ten years old. Oh wow! And so, you know, did it all through school. Mm -hmm. um, did it even when I was, you know, pursuing higher education as well. Mm -hmm. And so, it's always been my passion to build products, build applications, mm -hmm. and even before. Uh, you know, launching Honeycoin, mm -hmm. I had the opportunity to work uh, for a short period of time at a global fintech called Flutterwave. Mm -hmm. It was really insightful to me to see just how payment infrastructure mm -hmm. powers money movement and also powers global trade. Yeah. And, you know, it was almost, let me say, it, it felt crazy, mm -hmm. you know, to start a company, yeah. height of COVID, yes. everyone is in their houses. Yes. And so we're trying so to protect forth. the little that Yeah, we have, exactly. And then you're taking the risk happen. to start a business. Yes. But the reason that I launched and, you know, initially launched in 2020 mm -hmm. was just because of seeing the need. Mm -hmm. You know, I've used the global platforms that we all know, yeah. your PayPal, mm -hmm. your currency clouds, and mm -hmm. so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. and, and you see that you know, they've done a phenomenal job at yeah. serving Western markets, mm -hmm. but Africa as a market is so nuanced that it takes someone here yeah. locally to solve the problems here. Mm -hmm. And so we launched in 2020, we've been operational for three years, mm -hmm. and those three years have been phenomenal. Okay. You know, we've scaled to over 300,000 users mm -hmm. um, across the whole platform. Okay. And that's now in the six primary African countries that we're in. Mm -hmm. We power remittances in about 100 plus countries. Mm -hmm. And now we have about four offices globally. So in the UK, yeah. Nigeria, um, Kenya and the US Absolutely. and so, so far so good. I mean yeah three years <laughs> oh wow okay um because and and then just being in existence or in the market yeah. um for three years now what is it that you'd say that the market looks like the ecosystem looks like looks like and especially yeah. here mm -hmm. um, the startup ecosystem in the country as well. yes. mm -hmm. yeah I think what I will say is there's a lot more interest okay. from investors mm -hmm. in African entrepreneurs in okay. African startups so and there's also a lot more solutions mm -hmm. that are doing that are actually driving positive change across the country okay. so local builders mm -hmm. who now are getting the support that they need mm -hmm. to actually scale solutions like i'll tell you one of our investors antler mm -hmm. has a physical location that we work at every single week mm -hmm. and they are a global investor but you can see how they've set up shop here locally yeah. in order to allow us mm -hmm. to basically not only interact with them on a day-to-day -day basis, mm -hmm. but also give us the capital to grow. Mm -hmm. And what I will say about the startup ecosystem as well mm -hmm. is we're starting to see more fintech disruption mm -hmm. because there's also more collaboration with banks yeah. and financial, you know, just your regular, mm -hmm. let me say, payment service providers. Yeah. They're a bit more forward thinking. Mm -hmm. They're also trying to come to the table. Yeah. I'll tell you, five years ago, if you went to, let's say, you know, a bank and told them, you know, I'm a young entrepreneur, I mm -hmm. want to build this solution. They'll just say, okay, you know, that's nice, but we maybe like work the with idea, us. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. Yeah. But now I love the fact that we're having open conversations mm -hmm. with these, you know, large banks. We're talking about tier one, tier two banks. Mm -hmm. And they're saying, Hey, listen, we have this infrastructure. Mm -hmm. What do you want to build? You know, yeah. how do you want to improve mm -hmm. the local ecosystem? Yeah. I will say though, you know, it's not all, you know, let me say mm -hmm. 
positive and rosy because mm -hmm. there's ways that we can improve. I think there needs to be more capital in, in the market. I think that comes from conviction. Mm -hmm. So companies like Honeycoin, yeah. who at least have had a head start, we need to get it right mm -hmm. so that investors have more conviction to back local founders. That's true. That's and true, yeah. and the, the capital then just starts to flow because I'm thinking, okay, so if David founded this company, mm -hmm. it's done really well, yeah. then I know that there's probably hundreds of other Davids there yeah. and I want to look for them. There's mm -hmm. companies like Fingo, which is doing new banking. They work with EcoBank. Yeah. There's us who work with Equity Bank. It's, mm -hmm. it's those kind of uh, platforms mm -hmm. that we're building mm -hmm. that will increase the amount of entrepreneurs Absolutely. we're getting into, yeah. Yeah. into this space. And so I think it's very early, mm -hmm. but where we were and where we are right now, mm -hmm. I mean, night and day. And yeah. that's such a positive thing to Absolutely. see. Absolutely. And, yeah. and again, before we came on air, I was asking you, so where do you see this in like 5, 10 yeah. <laughs> years? And, yes. and what like the fintech world would mm -hmm. look like yeah. um, then? But before we even get there, can we just understand then yeah. your target customers okay. and the market? Who exactly is Honeycoin? Targeting. Yeah. Yes. So I, I think that's a really good question because initially, yeah. you know, let me and, and let me also track back and just say that we work to serve both consumers and, and businesses. businesses as well. So yeah. on the consumer end of things, mm -hmm. we're definitely going for, let me say, a younger audience, but mm -hmm. we are not fixed to them. Okay. I say a young audience because younger people, so Africa has the largest youth population globally yeah. by statistics. Mm -hmm. And so we believe that even if the youth are the ones who are only starting to acquire their wealth, they're getting to the job market, they're getting to the career market, mm -hmm. we believe that the kind of products that these people need, so let me just say aged 18 to 35, 35 yeah. need, mm -hmm. is products that are contextual to them. Yeah. So even with the little that you may start with, mm -hmm. as that grows, you want a platform that grows with you. Mm -hmm. You want a platform that sees where you are. Yeah. You want a platform that connects you mm -hmm. to your family, mm -hmm. because there's a lot, especially in Africa, a mm -hmm. lot of um, students, young people, mm -hmm. who either are studying in a country that they're not from, mm -hmm. or they're studying in that country to mm -hmm. be able to start working there. Mm -hmm. And we've tried to build a platform so that yeah. we are meeting the needs of expats, we're meeting the needs of foreign exchange students, mm -hmm. we're meeting the needs of even local mm -hmm. uh, young people. Okay. But the reason I said on the consumer end we're not fixed to young people mm -hmm. is we've built so many other features that are also tailored to a much more mature, mm -hmm. older audience. Mm -hmm. So that's around insurance, how we automate insurance ah. claims and plans, how we do yeah. investments. So we do mm -hmm. low risk and we do high risk investments, of course, through our regulated partner. Mm -hmm. And it's those kind of things that now bring the platform much closer mm -hmm. to even my grandma, yeah. you know, who is very used to M-Pesa, mm -hmm. but she just wants to use it on her, you know, USSD phone. She yeah. has a smartphone, but maybe mm -hmm. she prefers that experience. Yeah. And we are really trying to bridge that divide between the young and the old population mm -hmm. in a way that we meet them where they are. Mm -hmm. And so far, we've done a good job at at least trying to bring in those the features. Two. Okay. And then very briefly on the business side, mm -hmm. we basically allow businesses to manage a global treasury. What that means is, mm -hmm. if you're a business operating in Kenya, okay. but you have partners in Nigeria, we want to help you pay those suppliers. Mm -hmm. We have the partnerships to allow you to move the, those funds from Kenya mm -hmm. to Nigeria. Okay. If you have employees, you have a 500 employees in Kenya, we want to help you do payroll. Mm -hmm. You know, We want to automate it for you, make sure that you're not worrying about payee, you're mm -hmm. not worrying about, oh, I need to pay 500 people. Mm -hmm. If I put in fi um, one more zero here, mm -hmm. I've paid 500,000 right. more than 50, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. We want yeah. to be at the core mm -hmm. of how businesses manage their treasury okay. because we believe that to also be core uh, to you know Africa's mm -hmm. not only growth, mm -hmm. but if you look at even global trade, mm -hmm. any platform that is improving interactions between countries yeah. is also the platform that will incentivize trade. Mm -hmm. you know, and that's yeah. sort of like our goal. We just mm -hmm. want to become the underlying infrastructure mm -hmm. to allow those businesses yeah. to... You, you know, build the business, I'll still take care of you. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. sort of and so that's sort of yeah. like the two pieces. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, just curious, how is the reception here mm -hmm. in the, I mean, even in the continent yeah. um, as well, mm -hmm. how are people receiving this? Because again, like we said, there's so many other fintech, yeah. um, you know, who are offering more or less the same service. It's true. Um, right? Yeah. So how is the reception so far? I will say it's been very positive. Okay. Um, and of course, I'll be biased to Kenya because I'm Kenyan. <laughs> yeah. But I will say that the reason a lot of companies, even global companies, remittance companies, uh, you know, media companies, mm -hmm. uh, 
even lifestyle companies look into East Africa mm -hmm. is we have one of the most tech savvy populations mm -hmm. on That's the continent. Mm -hmm. If a platform comes today mm -hmm. and you're seeing people are using it tomorrow, mm -hmm. you're seeing, uh, you know, folks are like the first to jump at it. Yeah. I want to try it. I want to know, yeah, you know, is it helpful for me? How, yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. it's, and it's, it even goes beyond curiosity because mm -hmm. we've seen amazing reception from when we launched, you know, mm -hmm. like we saw people supporting us early on. Mm -hmm. But I will say that on a reception level, one thing that we've realized mm -hmm. that's very interesting to me yeah. is that if you look at East Africa, mm -hmm. you have a very price sensitive market. Yes. So people always want yes. something that decreases cost for them mm -hmm. or helps them save yeah. or makes them money. Mm -hmm. And then you go to West Africa, a market that we've also been in for a while, and people are more focused on just something that helps me mm -hmm. to alleviate the struggles I have. Mm -hmm. What I mean by that is, mm -hmm. if I don't have to worry about investments, yeah. if I don't have to worry about remittances, mm -hmm. if you're give, giving me a wallet solution that I can use mm -hmm. and it's connected to all of the different banks my family uses, yeah. then they're okay with charges mm -hmm. as long as you're also not exorbitantly charging them. Okay. And so we've sort of like seen this different kinds of receptions mm -hmm. in the markets that we're in, mm -hmm. but it's also encouraged us mm -hmm. because outside of all of the reception that we receive mm -hmm. um, in the, all of these different markets, yeah. it's always leaning to the side of like, you know, we love what you're doing, mm -hmm. keep doing that. Uh, we want to support you. I'll support yeah. you as a customer by paying mm -hmm. for, you know, your service. And mm -hmm. I'll pay, uh, you know, what you guys are charging. And, and I think mm -hmm. that's a very positive thing because mm -hmm. it just shows that people are hungry for solutions that mm -hmm. help them decrease their costs, yeah. meaning keep more, mm -hmm. make more, mm -hmm. and then also be connected to the mm -hmm. people that they love. And I, I feel like that. that's what, you know, we... We, we try to do a lot, and okay. so that's why the reception has also been positive. A bit positive, okay. Yeah. So then what happens? So then do you customize this service to suit different audiences? But then again, that's also complicated. It's very <laughs> complicated. So I will say, yeah. but, but you, you've asked a very good question, yeah. because the kind of service that our users, for example, mm -hmm. in the UK and Europe will get yeah. is, is very different to yeah. what like the Kenyan mm -hmm. experience looks like. Yeah. But the only reason it's different mm -hmm. is not because there is like, oh, we'll build a really good platform mm -hmm. in the UK and then we'll build a, a kind of okay platform. Yeah? That, it's yeah. actually more that, mm -hmm. for example, there's no mobile money in Europe, mm -hmm. but here mobile money is very yeah. you know, dominant. Mm -hmm. And so we've had to definitely tailor mm -hmm. the solution, yeah. but we try to, as much as possible, mm -hmm. uh, charge the same fees everywhere. Okay. Because we work with economies of scale. So mm -hmm. for example, mm -hmm. if I make 1% mm -hmm. on 10 people, yeah. it's so much better if I can do uh, if I can make 1% on 300,000 people, because those margins add up mm -hmm. over time, so yeah. we don't have to charge you a lot, mm -hmm. and we also make sure that we're at, at the least mm -hmm. as much as possible mm -hmm. uh, through different promotionary aspects of the application, like yeah. cashback offers mm -hmm. or discounts, even mm -hmm. saving you more over time as you spend yeah. with us. Because we do allow you to you know pay into till numbers and pay bills in Kenya, mm -hmm. in the UK will probably support like merchant yeah. offerings as well. Okay, mm -hmm. so then do you mind if I ask the charges? Again. No, no worries. For someone who's, who's watching and thinking, okay, ah, I am so Interesting, old, yeah. Uh, tell me the piece. You know? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so consumer and business. <laughs> <laughs> so happy to chime in there. Okay. So on the consumer side of things, we actually charge about 0.5% for merchant payments. Okay. So your till number, your mm. pay bill, but it's only towards a, a certain threshold. Okay. So below 10,000, we don't charge you anything. Okay. Above that, we charge you 0.5%. All right. We try to match what you'd get with a mobile money provider mm. because at the end of the day, we are building on their infrastructure. Okay. So we want to work with them. We don't want to say, yeah. oh, we are undercutting our partner. Yeah. You know, it's not a yeah. good relationship. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. Well, exactly. Level, no. And then for yeah. cross-border payments, we charge 0%. Okay. The reason for that is because we work with, mm -hmm. you know, FX providers, mm -hmm. we work with uh, licensed remitters. Mm -hmm. I mentioned MoneyGram, which we recently launched with. Mm -hmm. um, we, we actually are able to charge zero fees. So mm -hmm. imagine if you're receiving payment, uh, trans like let's say you receive money from family in the US, mm -hmm. it costs you zero. Mm -hmm. And we try as much to give you the best rate and mm -hmm. we'll only make a small margin the rate. It's about uh -huh. zero, 0 0.5 mm -hmm. to 0 0.2%. Okay. And then for like, a, let me say, if you wanted to, in any case, sort of like make a cross-border withdrawal, mm -hmm. it will cost you anywhere between, uh, you know, 0.5 to 1%. Mm -hmm. So our pricing is always between 0 0.2 to 1, okay. and it's also tier-based. So okay. at any point in time, mm -hmm. know that one, we're saving you money, but mm -hmm. we also try to optimize for a scenario where mm -hmm. we are matching what your local mm -hmm. providers would okay. uh, give you. All right. But, and then on the business side of things, okay. pretty standard. We have no 
uh, outright fees. We just charge like subscription fees, okay. so based on tiers. Okay, no mm -hmm. hidden charges here and there. You look at it, you like, I can't but easy one. Okay, <laughs> so we exactly. Yeah, no, we don't want that kind of thing. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All so right. True. So we need to end the show. Uh, okay. But okay. We'd want to know again the question that we asked earlier on, and that yeah. is the impact and the future. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, of um, your future goals. That is as, as Honeycoin. Yeah. And then I think cap that with what would be your advice to young entrepreneurs who are looking at you this morning and be like, you know what, I am inspired. Yeah, I want to <laughs> do this. Wanna I want to build a fintech. <laughs> yes. That's a really good question. I appreciate you asking yeah. and, and closing with that. Mm -hmm. I think for me, our goals as a company, our goals as Honeycoin are very broad. Mm -hmm. We have the ambitious goal mm -hmm. of becoming the underlying financial infrastructure that mm -hmm. powers trade in Africa. Okay. The way that we do that is we connect consumers mm -hmm. and then we enable businesses mm -hmm. to not ever think about a scenario yeah. where payments are a hard thing to do. Okay. Payments in Africa are like 1% built. Mm -hmm. If we're able to get that to even 90%, we've done a phenomenal job for yeah. um, businesses and also consumers. And for the consumers so our goal over time is just to decrease the cost, mm -hmm. enable more connectivity and mm -hmm. build all of these different functionalities mm -hmm. that instead of increasing mm -hmm. the applications you're using, yeah. we want to be the single financial super app that you use. Mm -hmm. And we believe that so far we've done a good job. If mm -hmm. we just keep executing, if we keep relying on feedback from customers, because that's the most important thing, mm -hmm. I definitely think that we'll get there. Mm -hmm. And then towards your second question, and, and as my parting shot, mm -hmm. the one thing I can give to entrepreneurs, which I've realized mm -hmm. as myself, and especially young people, yeah. is as a young person, you need to realize that if you want to make money, your goal is to make money, mm -hmm. create a business or solution. Mm -hmm. Because money doesn't make money. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a common misconception. Mm -hmm. Businesses make money. Make money Output too. make money, solutions. Mm -hmm. And number two is when people are fearful, mm -hmm. even you as a person, when you're fearful, yeah. that is a strong indicator mm -hmm. for your almost reason to actually push mm -hmm. and start something. Mm -hmm. Because if you think about it, Businesses that started in COVID and survived COVID, mm. now we're in better times. Yeah. And so it's even easier for me. Mm -hmm. And so don't be discouraged mm -hmm. by whatever environment you're in. Yeah. Build in that environment. Mm -hmm. Create your own space. Don't wait for someone to give you a seat at the table. Mm -hmm. Build your own table. Mm -hmm. You know, Involve and surround yourself with the people who mm -hmm. actually also care about what you're doing and are doing mm -hmm. the same thing. Yeah. And 100% you'll succeed. Because yeah. I think there's so many young people who either want permission because of how they've been raised, mm. or maybe they're just seeing that this will not work because, mm. you know, technically yeah. this maybe works in this market or in this country or for someone in this background. Yeah. I can tell you 100%, if you just commit to building, realize that you have to create a solution people are willing to pay for, mm -hmm. and realize that fear is actually an indicator of something that is mm. positive that you should do, yes. then don't be afraid of failure. Yeah. Venture out there, and I assure you, there's other people who are building yeah. Yeah. you know, impactful solutions, and there's also other people who mm -hmm. care mm -hmm. about what you're doing. So Absolutely. 100% just go for so it. So find, find that problem. Find that problem. And give us the solution. <laughs> exactly. I really, really like that. And I like the fact that you're saying, listen, don't wait to be given a seat at the table, because yeah. that has been the narrative for so many young it people. It has, that yeah. We want the seat at the table. No. <laughs> Get your own table. Build your own table. Get your own <laughs> people. Bring in chairs. Bring them and that's actually, the you know, you know, change yeah. the world. <laughs> I really like that. Thank you so much. Very, very great insights from you, Thank David you Nando, well. founder and CEO, Honeycoin. I'm pretty sure now you have more info. Mm -hmm. But again, if you still have so many questions, feel free to interact with us at NTV Kenya, both on Facebook and on Twitter. And tag me as well at Lubembe underscore Winnie. We'll follow them <laughs> <laughs> to David and his team. And they will answer all your questions. But for now, David, thank you. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. much. Well. And Cheers. thank you for staying with us as well until the end of the show. I wish we had more time, but I, I think we'll I create more I'll come again. Please I've do. Loved, I've loved Please do. You. Please do, so that we continue <laughs> with these conversations. But no for worries. now, enjoy the rest of your day. The Evolution Conference is coming up in the next few minutes right here on NTV. So enjoy and stay safe. Goodbye. And stay creative for the young people. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>